Hey, what is up, you guys? Sam from Otaku. Back again, Otaku Podcast. Thought I was doing a different video at <laughs> the intro there. Joined by Josh and Jose. 51. Woo! How you guys doing? Good. We had uh, quite the day last night, wouldn't you all say? Busy weekend as a whole, really. After this, we got a lot more to do. But uh, yeah, we did help Danny move, which yeah. I don't think we talked about at all in the last podcast because we, we, we didn't know. Didn't know. Yeah. But uh, Danny moved to his own apartment with his girlfriend, Vivi. And it's a nice fucking apartment. It, it is, is a nice apartment. Very very nice. I really like it. We were all worried because uh, he was saying where he was moving. And we we kind of all thought of like, oh, that's going to be like a little yeah. rinky-dink place where they're not going to have AC and stuff. And nah, but knowing Danny, I, I feel like he would have been smart about picking where he was going to go. Yeah. Well, to be fair, we asked him, hey, is it in this one place? And he's like, oh, yeah. And then we drive through. It's a completely different area behind that place. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. But it's crazy. I, I talked to him and I'm like, hey, so how many apartments did you look at? He's like 10 plus. Wow. He, said, he said a lot of them were rinky dinky, you know, like just not well put together. Yeah. Uh, I feel like generally like in the area that we live in, we have some nice apartments, but they look like shit on the outside. Like, you. Oh, yeah. See, yeah, they, that's very true. Because like, you remember where Danny used to live before the old one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The one on that one looked like shit. But then it's like you go in, it's like, oh, this it was is pretty nice. big, right? I remember, I think they might have been moving, and it was one of the last times, of, uh, one of the first and last times I ever went to his apartment. And it was like, wow, is it looks the one really that nice. Was, he lived with his it was the one that was behind Wells Fargo. Remember with that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was big. Yeah. yeah. I was like, wow, this is really nice. Thought it was going to be a shit apartment. And it's like, no, that's actually really good. See, I've had the opposite where I see like a nice looking area, like it looks good on the outside, and you go in, it's like a 1960s <laughs> fucking shithole. Everything's yellow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like white, and it's like. Uh, None of it is furnished all that well. And mm-hmm. The carpet's not great. Just like a permanent sepia filter, I guess, is how yeah. I felt everything is going through. <laughs> I wonder yeah. if he's allowed to paint the walls. I know certain places. I doubt it, do. mate. I would give that yeah. a hard doubt. They, that looks like it's been designed. To um, look that way? Yeah, yeah. Like, it looks, everything was furnished. Yeah. I was it's, say, and it probably everything looks the same, yeah. like yeah. in every apartment. Yeah. So they're probably like, yeah, don't fuck with it. It's like yeah. that way. Yeah. So if they you were to move out, they're like, yeah, look, it's good. It's, you're yeah. good to go. Yeah, because I know V's super creative, and I thought maybe like they do. They something could probably the, hang yeah. stuff on the wall, but yeah. I, the, I feel like painting the wall is an extreme yeah. that they're going like to like an nah, extreme luxury. That's not going to happen now. Because painting is layers, man. So eventually somebody's going to find out, yeah. like, hey, my room is now one inch smaller because there's been 42 people that have painted <laughs> fucking layers of paint on here. But it's it took us what two hours to kind of like two hours we to pretty load much up. we that's helped a, with the bulk let, of everything. Let's, let's break yeah. down the, the the day from beginning. Well, to Well, we really we just showed up at his house. He had everything in the garage pretty much, is it, except for the beds. The we beds think, was the shit part. God damn. But um, he had we, most of his stuff in the garage. He pulled the truck up, reversed it. We just loaded the truck up. Well, we had to figure out how to get the garage door to open. To, to yeah, but that's that all. That took two seconds. We yeah. loaded up the truck, put it in the the thing, and we just it was. I thought it was very easy. Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, I feel like if it was a multiple <clears throat> day move, that would suck ass. Yeah. yeah. But it was just two hours, showed up, did it. Then they just had a few things left. Right. And I was like, yeah, good. All right. Good. Now, are you guys going to help out Danny the next time he moves? Ooh. Uh, keep, so, keep yeah. in mind, everything was in one room this yeah, time. Yeah. So next time he moves, he has what? He has two bedrooms, a bath, a living room, and like a the I kitchen. Guess kind of a kitchen. Yeah. It's yeah. very small. Yeah. But so it's like they were going to have way more shit next time they move. Bridget has a fucking. Uh, kitchen that is a third the size of what danny has wow wow yeah. really okay. yeah so there's places it's much worse yeah wow but, uh, i mean it, it's nice but i'm saying like i wouldn't count that as like a kitchen that like we have where you guys yeah. like put shit in there yeah because theirs is very small yeah but yeah it's still like as we said nice <coughs> fucking apartment and they are co- uh, cooks they do yeah at least bb i think yeah cooks a lot yeah but uh, yeah i'm i'm always down to help people move it's yeah. like it's just physical labor and it's like it, it's it's shitty. Like, yeah. like, I think it was only bad because uh, it was hot yesterday. Yeah, if well, it wasn't it's so like, hot. I so when I was talking to Danny the other day, I was like, "Man, imagine if you guys did it by yourself." And he was like, "Yeah, you know, uh, originally when they were th- moving, there was like, I just thought it was gonna be me and Vivi. It's like, oh, it'll be like the couples moving thing, you know, oh, like God. we'll just move together. That's how you and fucking break up." Mm-mm. He was like, "I started packing everything up, and I was like, nah, this shit ain't happening." <laughs> You're like, like, "Let me call in the cavalry." Yeah, yeah he so, he told me uh, yesterday when we came back to uh, his old place, and he was like, "Yeah." thought i was just gonna load the truck up and do it by myself i was like no fucking yeah. way dude yeah then he was like i was uh, really surprised you guys like volunteered to come help out it's like yeah. hello hello yeah. like, we've been danny you use this against me every time we've been friends for o- almost 20 years <laughs> yeah. yeah we're like why wouldn't we come help you move houses yeah. like, we're toxic and like we need to own you in some way so it's like <laughs> hey remember when we helped you move <laughs> I, I told danny he's like well 
I got to be a good friend like every quarter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> you know, yeah, I just like in. punch that card really quick. And just I did fun. something for Danny this one. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Next. Uh, that's how I get my Christmas presents. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've done something that only affects you, Josh, that I'm going to just put a little teaser out. Okay. Ooh. I have set up a prank in the house somewhere. Oh, no. Um, nobody has mentioned it yet, so I don't think it has come up. But there's a prank in motion that I've set up in the house. and uh, If it's a stink bomb, you've done great. Because remember, Matthew <laughs> not, opened the fucking it's not cabinet. A stink bomb. Yeah, there's it some rakes. <laughs> grotesque shit in our cab- cabinet that smells awful. We don't know what it is. Oh, but man. there's something else in the house I've set up a little prank. And uh, when when did you do this? When did about a week ago? About a week ago. I it's was gonna wondering, scare you. Yeah, because I was trying to Is think. It? No. Oh, okay. No. You said yeah. Right. You'll know my, when oh, it happens no. to you. So you're like, it'll happen to you. And you'll be like, oh, motherfucker. I need you to vlog that. Is it biological afterwards. warfare? Anything? I'm not going to give any more hints <sighs> on what it is. Because so. I, I got to be honest with you. I was asleep the other night and I moved my arm towards the corner of my bed, which is in the if corner of the room. If you go to do room. something and something um, minorly annoying happens to you, that was me. God, that was a lot. <laughs> uh, right. So here are the things. He could have loosened the bolt on your chair so it squeaks. <laughs> I can guarantee you it's, it has nothing to do with removal of bolts and no. screws. No, your table is going to like slightly move back and forth. I don't think it's that either. Uh, I will say so far this uh, prank that I've set up, and the people in Ventrilla know what it is because they were they were against my prank, by the way. When wow. I told them, they were like, nah, you shouldn't do that. And I was like, nah, I'm doing it. Excuse me for a it's second. It's only affected me as far as I know. <laughs> <this one. laughs> so... Well, let's have to wait and see. We'll give it a check up next week and uh, see if anything interesting happened. And, uh, yeah, I legit thought maybe it would be because like, I put my hand at the corner of my bed yeah. and I f- put my hand full into a spider web. Um, do we want to have the audience weigh in on the p- great pizza debate of 2020 that we were having last night? Oh, what? Okay. No, no. <laughs> it wasn't a debate. It was a fucking steamrolling. All right. So uh, people of the audience, you know, I was raised to be a kind, gentle folk. I have counterpoints to you tonight. Okay. Ooh. So, Matthew and I, Danny, okay, so we helped Danny move, as we mentioned, and he so kindly was like, I'll get you guys round table, and it's like, damn, that's, that's expensive. expensive pizza. Like, if yeah. you don't know, like, if you're getting a large round table, <sighs> it runs you minimum $21.99, and that's yep. for cheese. So, and then if you get anything else, it starts getting crazy. Like, the toppings you add to it, yeah. the prices get insane. And that's just for a large. They have a size above that, which is even crazier. And then just depending on the top, and it goes absolutely insane. So we were ordering, and normally when we go to round table, like let's say it's a me, you, and Matthew thing, yeah, we'll all get our own pizzas. Yes. Because the only way to justify that price is you buy the pizza, and then you only eat half, even though you could totally eat more than that. Yeah. You could easily eat more than half of the pizza. You only get half, and then you save the other half for a second meal. So you're really paying 10 bucks a meal. Which is still kind of expensive, yeah. But but yeah. it's less so than twenty bucks for one meal. And you feel good because you got two good yeah. meals out of it. So we were all sitting around ordering it. We were watching Vagrant Holiday, and everybody fell asleep. Oh, so nice. And so I went to go order the pizza. That dude's voice is calming. Yeah. Oh, it really is. It really is. And he's just like shitting around. Yeah. So went to order the pizza, and normally, as I mentioned, we all get our own pizzas. But it's like, oh, Danny's paying. Our friend is covering the whole bill. So. Not going to be a fucking animal, a low-class, degenerate, greedy animal. And it's like, I will just split my pizza this time with somebody else. So See, that I thought I, you guys were splitting, so that's why I asked when you guys... You were the only person that asked about splitting, Jose. Uh, you're the only person. But you fucked it up, and we'll get to that in a second as well. Because Jose went home to take a shower, he fell asleep. Which I don't blame you for falling asleep, because everybody's fucking beat. So It was wild that you were the only one who did not <laughs> fall asleep. So we... Uh, I went and woke up Matthew, who's my younger brother, who didn't help, but, you know, obviously he's getting pizza. So I was like, hey, it's like you, you and I will just order a step up, which I think the th- extra large is like three bucks extra because I just get a cheese. Mm-hmm. So it's like we'll just get extra large. We'll split it half half. He'll get pepperoni. That's all he ever gets. So we're like those basic pizzas. It's like half pepperoni, half cheese. Still we're good. like in what the realm of like 26 bucks or something. Yeah, like I think that. Tw- I think it was 25.99 for that. Jesus. Which normally the cheese just so you guys get a reference is 21.99. So step up from that is 25.99. That's for your basic one topping. Like that's yeah. like as cheap as you could get. Um so it was like, yep, that way we're not fucking ruining Danny's bank. Josh goes, "Nope, I'm not sharing. I'm getting a whole large uh, Maui Zowie minus the onions minus the bullshit minus this. Uh, switch would, the would sauce for this. He Sam. had them switch the sauce too. He always does that though. Well, That's uh, like so I'm not offended over that because he always does that. But the the thing is, the Maui Zowie comes with like a Polynesian sauce rather than a, a barbecue sauce or, or something, or like rather than like a marinara yeah. sauce. Oh okay, yeah. 
so the problem I've run into is I've done the split before and this like the sauce doesn't get evenly cut. It gets into the other person's pizza. Listen, I'm adamantly against splitting. No, you no, know I know. My, you know, I hate splitting I know. the pizza. And so I'm thinking in the back of my head, I don't want to do that to anyone else. And it was going to be me and Lewis were going to split and he was going to get pepperoni, right? Uh, yeah, that was the that original. Was, what he's, yeah. he's going to get, yeah. And Jose wasn't answering. Jose was calls. MIA. So we were like, okay, Jose will just take a rain check or something. Yeah. And so I was going through, I was like, yeah, I don't think it's a good idea. Like I've got a bunch of shit on my pizza. You won't have a bunch of shit on your pizza. It gets, it gets wonky, especially with the different sauces. Yeah. So that is, that was his argument. He's like, so I'm just going to get my own, which asshole, but I get the medium though. Uh, yeah. Which I guess is a little bit less of an asshole, but still an an asshole. I think it's it's like $19. Oh wow. Yeah. Because he gets a lot of toppings. Oh So like it is, we would probably be about 17, but then you start throwing on all the toppings. I built a Maui Zowie. Like try to tell him like, oh, I just want the pineapple bacon and the pepperoni. Yeah. Because if you build your own, they charge you per topping. It was like $26. It was insane. So, um, he stepped down to medium and then Lewis, you weren't here. So he was odd man out because Danny and Vivi were getting a pizza and they too wanted the exact thing that Josh was getting, but like two ingredients different, Yeah, but large cause they're splitting. So then yeah. Lewis was like, okay, well I'll just get my own. And then he ordered some meat lovers Supreme thing. Well, he said pepperoni. Well, yeah, he originally wanted to just split pepperoni with yeah. you because he didn't want to be difficult, but, but he then he was getting his anything. own pizza and he was just, he's like, Hey, just give me Supreme. And I was like, okay. Yeah. So then they went to order, but then when Josh was placing his order, they had they had order. on file of a time he already split his pizza in yeah. half. So they're like, oh, did you just want to split it? Yeah. But I, then Lewis was already like, no, you said you didn't want to, so I want my own pizza. I, so now they're both assholes yeah. that just want a whole pizza to themselves on their friend's dime. Okay. But to, to be fair, also on the splitting thing back a second ago. Or when you listen to me ordering a Maui Zowie, you get stressed out. And then yes. imagine cutting that in half and asking, oh, I want half of that. But on I one feel pizza. like that's so easy. You're already so because you've already crossed the line into being a difficult customer. Yeah. So like going one step further is not. No, not, it's unbearable. No, it's not. <laughs> because like if you were like, hey, can I get this? This is like your normal order, whatever. Yeah. You're like 10 step process of ordering. And then you're just like, oh, yeah. And then just half pepperoni. It'd be like, oh, OK. Like that's easy to put in the computer. The hard part is your part. Yeah. The, the, the half pepperoni, easy. So now we have two people that are getting their own pizza. Then we place the order, and I was telling Josh, like, watch, Jose's going to fucking text. And then Josh gets off the phone because I passed the phone to Josh because I'm not doing his order. Later, and the thing was, it went from me going, like, okay, we're going to get the yeah. half half that you saw on there. And then Lewis is like, no, I want the Supreme. I was like, I'm sorry, cut that whole order. We're going to do it a was Supreme. Difficult. And then I was like, hey, I'm going to be uh, ordering one Maui Zowie this way. And my friends want another Maui Zowie, but this way. And they kept getting the sizes But it's confused. not just a it kept going one back. Maui Zowie this. It's like one Maui Zowie with this, minus this, well, so, add this. So she took it immediately. She's like, okay, how do you want your Maui Zowie? Do you want yeah. it with uh, pepperoni, uh, Italian, uh, or not Italian, uh, Canadian bacon, or do you want um, chicken? And I was like, oh, I'll do it with pepperoni minus the onions and tomatoes. And she's like, cool, got it. And then I'll do a large ham minus the onions and tomatoes super easy that was like the easiest way i've ever ordered a maui zowie okay. with her i was like wow okay. it took you a long time is all i know on the phone but she kept, you a long time she kept getting the two sizes mixed up and so we kept going back and forth and like sam said came back went to go be like oh here's your phone back bud jose texted us and i was like son of yeah. a bitch so then i called back because we were already on a difficult order and then I was like, Jose, what do you want? Jose's like, oh, well, can I split with anybody? He's like, no, you cannot. Because we have two people who are adamant on having their own pizza. Danny and Vivi are splitting. Me and Matthew are splitting. So it's like, okay. So now Jose is basic, just wants a pepperoni. It's like, Jose, sure thing. Jose, yeah. would you say, why would why did you ask that you, if you wanted to have it halved? Cause would you say you were still full from uh, Donuts and Burgers that morning? No. Okay. It's just that's. He always splits his pizza. Yeah, I always yeah, split my point. pizza with someone here. <laughs> that's a good point. So, but it's like you would the kind thing to do in a situation. Danny, let spoiler, alert, didn't care after the fact because yeah. we brought it up to Danny. But kind thing to do if somebody else is paying for your thing is to not go full retard on what you're what you're ordering. Let me know when I can counter. Which you didn't get the memo on that. So <laughs> because now that I called and now it's like I get a different guy, not even the girl we were talking to on the phone. He's like, hey, whatever. It's like, yeah, can I just make a new order? <laughs> it's like, and so I just ordered your pizza, and then he's like, cool, uh, 15, 20 minutes. It's like, okay, cool. So, go, and uh, in case you guys not know my stance on the uh, tip for uh, pizza, if I'm picking up the pizza, I ain't tipping. Yeah. So, I'm yep. saying that right now. 
But I felt so bad I tipped this woman a very good amount. It was such a difficult order. And then just because I had to show up too and then be like, oh, I was like, yeah, I got an order for uh, Sam. And I was like, there's actually two Sams. They're both mine. <laughs> yeah. She was like, really? I was like, yeah, they're, they're both mine. We didn't want to hurt you anymore. <laughs> yeah. It was like, sorry. So How just, much did you tip her? Uh, so the bill was about... 140 i think i forget yeah. what i told danny it was it's in that range like maybe 135 so and we got 107 and then another pizza so like 25 bucks like 130 yeah. we got after tax yeah. stuff it's like 130 137 or something like that and i did it for 25 bucks okay. <laughs> I, was like, I was like yep sorry was like here you go enjoy it because uh that shit was fucked so and then we told danny mm-hmm. and i was telling him it was like yeah sorry two of your friends are assholes lewis doesn't care we already know his stance on on that yeah, fuck yeah. it yeah. yes he's gonna take what he gets Josh, I thought would be more considerate. No. Uh, you just let me know when I chime in. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, then yeah. I told Danny, and he was like, no, it's fine. It's like, yeah. I don't care. He but said it like, would, by far it was way cheaper than having other people come in. I disagree. I, I disagree. I, no, I, I've, um, I've had moving companies come in to help uh, family members move. One, they... Uh, he had one room. This I, is true. I'm not mm-hmm, saying that. Yeah. But I would also say that they don't give a shit about your equipment. Like, they've damaged shit on... I didn't give a shit about Danny's equipment. Well, you know, but... Yep, that's a good point. So That it's is like, very true. That mattress did not get a, get a lot of He's undervaluing his time, too, because... But we did if it in you two just paid, hours. I'm saying you pay movers, they probably get it done in an hour, just put, pulling your shit in there, and then he has nothing to do with it. He could go do something else. It's like That is true. He yeah. could go fucking take the hamster over by himself if he wanted to. He could true. go take the nice light stuff by himself or like the fragile stuff mm-hmm. and be totally worry free because a lot of those people are insured. It's yeah. like they, they they fuck up. Sorry. So a um, couple key points in Sam's uh, blatant disregard for uh, his friend. Uh, he invited Matthew. Matthew did nothing the entire day. He was at work. He was no to, okay, for the record. Sam tipped and Danny paid back the tip, which was an entire pizza's worth of a tip. That's two fucking things. Yeah, because you did. we're tipping because it was difficult. And you didn't chip Which into whose the fault tip. it was was difficult. You paid. Whose fault was it that Danny it was difficult? That, no. Doesn't whose matter. Whose fault was it that you it was difficult? Took, no, you took the whole ownership. They're like, oh, I'm so sorry for my friend, which is a classic. Josh I didn't even move. say that on the phone. I was That's like, pretty I much just what tipped. you're doing. The tip is the equivalent of, hey, I'm sorry for she my friend. She gave good service, right? She did. There I'm not. Oh, I no, you but you didn't say that was not your reason. You said we were so but difficult. The debate is live as Here's of right twenty-five dollars. Yeah, but I'm saying she had to put up a lot of shit. She was Even very Danny good. Was she shooken. was probably the best roundtable person that we ever had on the phone. She still got my order wrong, but, but good because I, I will. I will say it too. she handled it perfectly. Yeah, so she, I gave her a tip. Yes, I agree. No, I'm not. I'm well, not in the agree. Uh, I'm not in agreement. Uncheck that off of your mark agreement. I'm saying you made your friend pay for the tip that he wasn't even there. He was covering all of it. Yes, but you were saying like, which oh, if his other really... friend wasn't complicated on the phone, and if I Matthew wouldn't have had the there, tip, we would have had a perfect even amount of uh, four people with me, Jose, you, and uh, Lewis. And I would love to have you. You, you already said before you mm. even knew that that we would have had an even amount without yeah. without Jose because yeah. we thought he wasn't there. You yeah. did not want to split your pizza. But checkmate. I, but as soon as she said, <laughs> checkmate. As soon as she said, I have a half a fucking pepperoni, half a Maui's. But I was, was like, already out the window at that. Point. I already told her. I was like, you Josh know brought That's this fine. up yesterday already, and Matthew shut him down instantly. It was like, no, you already said that you weren't doing it, so I was already out the window. Yeah. yeah. But you know what? You still paid twenty five dollars, and you invited your brother over who had not helped at because all because Danny's and a you, good friend. We would pay for him always. Plus, Matthew was the first one to get invited to come help move Danny, and he denied. And he just out. had to work. Yeah, mm, he no. would have helped if he had if he, he didn't have to work. I agree. And I told Danny I would have paid. So for half you of agree it. with both of the counter arguments to your arguments, and you're bringing up your arguments. I told Danny I would pay for half of my fucking pizza. Yeah, but this, here's what I'm saying. Here's my whole point of view on this: is a lot of us are too nice to want that. Like, if I was paying yeah. for all you guys' pizza, I would never accept the fact yeah. that, like, oh, well, I'll pay for half. It's like, no, no. It's but like, I would also argue in the grand scheme and of like, things. And, like, that's nice of you to offer, but none of us would ever accept that. But grand scheme of things. You shouldn't I'm, put your friend in that, that situation as well. That would have been. I paid for your guys' food in college. Yeah, but why? Every that's day. A totally, so we he's would go going to the back. State. No, no, no. I'm just that, saying. That's a bullshit no, argument. I'm just saying. So going back he's to going Sears. all the way back to high I'm school. I'm holding that still. Yeah, but that you can't. Because this is a. I'm just saying, as adult friends, I agree. 
we should all be responsible. And obviously, this is such a nothing argument because Danny is fine with it. Danny yeah. is not offended by this. And at I all. would say if I had given him any money, it would have been like ten dollars. And in he would have said no. Thing, he exactly. would have taken it. If we, if I, yeah, I did ask said, him hey, if I'll he give wanted ten bucks. Because I yeah. told him I'm like, do you want at least twenty from me? Like, I'm just saying the kind thing to do in that situation is to not get your order, your normal full pizza you would normally pay I for. I agree. But. And so what we're saying also is because I'm a moral high ground person and Lewis is not. He's Yes, I expect more of you. He's completely skirted yes. this argument. Yeah. <laughs> Lewis, I see him do that. I was like, that is very Lewis of him. I was like, it is. He's not I'm changing like, his character. You know, but would you also argue, and I'm not saying because this is a future thing. Yes. Would you argue that I've done stuff for Danny or would do stuff for Danny and not ever expect I think anybody? you would handle it the same way. Yeah. That's why I'm saying like, so if that happened to me, I asked somebody to help me move, which, you know, you guys Yes, did. and you would offer to get pizza. I yeah. would do the same thing that I did for you. It's like, oh, Josh is paying, so I'm not yeah. going to fucking break his wallet on this. Because realistically, the pizza is a bonus. Yeah. Like, as friends, we would realistically help him for free. Yep. And I like, honestly thought we did. So, like, the pizza. We, I think everybody we shot up and was like, yeah, I'm down to help. Yeah. The pizza but, is a bonus. So it's like the fact that he even offered is very nice. Yeah. So that's why it's like, oh, so I'm not like he's doing it out of the kindness of his heart. So I'm not going to fucking charge him. Yeah. An extra 40 bucks or whatever. Well, for I, I w- if you're thinking everyone else is going to do it. Yeah. But for me specifically, it was like an extra 10 bucks. And again, it's one of those things where I think like when we go to McDonald's, you go and pay one time. Then we go another yeah. time. I'll pay for yeah. it. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if, like, hey, Josh tried the McNuggets on but, like, his dime But, like, this is a no, like, like, there's no, that is not in a thing. That is, like, being exchanged. Here. There's no, like, hey, Danny, next time we go to Roundtable, I got us. Like, yeah. that is not a thing that's coming But I'm not, back. I wouldn't say it's, like, Roundtable equivalent. I would say it's, like, some other form of, like, Yeah, but it has to be Roundtable equivalent because that's the most expensive place we ever go no, to. No, no, no. I'm saying, like, hey, here's this $10 item that you needed for your computer or something like that I had lying around. I don't need it. Here you go. I don't think it's equivalent. Okay. Because round table is insanely expensive. So I don't think you ever get that back. Cause like for him, like if that was me, it's like, that's $160 expense. Boom. On a, on a meal. What did we say earlier before? So basically we helped Danny move. Yeah. We went back to the house. Danny continued doing his own thing yeah. at his place. We all stayed here. Jose went back eventually and we all just knocked the fuck out. I honestly did not. For, so for one, totally didn't really care if we got pizza or not. Cause one, I was still full from Don's yeah. burgers. Two, I was we saw a little Caesars commercial and I was like Look fire. I told him Looked I told fire. everybody in the room, if Danny offered me little Caesars, I'd still take it because it's a half pizza, half garlic yeah. bread. I would be happier <laughs> yeah. than fucking shit right now with that. I wouldn't care if pizza's pizza to me. I mean yeah. there are better tasting yeah, pizza. Yeah, oh, I'm good for any pizza. It, and that's I mean, what I was saying. I told Danny that too, and he was like, Oh no, I was like I wanted the round table or whatever. Yeah. You know? So it's like he did pick it, but it's like still it's been, expensive as fuck. And I've been in his shoes too where um and I think like in college when I would pay for you guys, it was my my mentality is like I want to go do that thing, so I'm cool with paying for whatever to have you guys there as well. So that's how I do most of my like when I go out. It's like, "Hey, do you guys want to go to the pub tonight with my coworkers or something?" Like, "Oh, I can't afford it." I was like, "Okay, I got your tab." And it's just like yeah, I, you shouldn't have to do that. No, no, I, I get that. But I, I, I guess that's just my mentality. It's like if I want to go hang out, I would like, you know, I want you to come with me. I'll pay. Yeah, for but it's dad. a nice thing to do. But then you don't expect that person who you're taking to the bar to go fucking buck wild in order. I kind of encourage it. But that, that's like just me. a fuck ton of drinks. And then you're like, oh, yeah, your tab's a thousand bucks. Like what? It's well, it's never been a thousand. It's probably but, like two hundred, three hundred. Right? I've the most I've spent one night and that was on myself was one hundred and five bucks. I think. That's not bad. Tab. That's yeah. What, like four or five drinks. Yeah. Yeah, but no, and that that's, yeah, I, I, I get that, but I also, at the same time, I'm the dickhead saying, like, no, it's on me, like, I encourage it, kind of thing like that, because at the end of the day, it's going to be, like, an extra 30 bucks for the most part, because I'm yeah, the well, only one that uh, actually you know, drinks. I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm not I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying, on my end, it doesn't Well, and really as I've me. said, Danny was okay with it. He's yeah. not offended by it at all, but I'm saying the nice thing to do in that situation is to not do that. We should have had Lewis here instead and <laughs> yeah. just see. Because here's I the other. Yeah, I asked go, him to come in today, him. but he said he had a lot of like at home chores. It's like fucking free pizza. I'm going to get it. Yeah. Like, well, Lewis would also I, be I feel, here shitting on me for yeah. what I did. The, and then we would say, well, Lewis, so you Lewis didn't say actually that. wasn't even going to come down to Huntington Beach this weekend. He was saying originally he was still out there and was like, fuck. Yeah, he came gonna, from work. Yeah. He yeah. literally, uh, I think he said he didn't even sleep that much because he had a late shift. Yeah. He and, was kind of knocked out. And was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to come over here. And then he said, when he pulled up and saw us pretty much leaving, he's like, oh, he's like, well, they're fucking done. So I guess I'm a bad, <laughs> he's like, I'm a bad friend. 
But I did give him shit because, like, it was as soon as we were walking around the corner, that's when I see Lewis. And I was like, were you waiting around the corner seeing if we, we had just <laughs> yeah, finished loading? he did just say, he's like, oh, I bet Lewis is waiting around the corner to see. He's like, oh, hey. It was so fucking funny. Yeah, he didn't even say he was here. And it's like, yeah, he just showed up and was like, oh, hey, Lewis. What yeah. The fuck did you get here? Oh, fucking disaster. Fucking trying to get in there, dealing with that late, with that Karen. Yeah, the oh, parking's God. not great, but. I, I feel like that's the normal situation yeah. moving in. The like, same thing, Chris and Melissa's spot, like their yeah. apartment complex, they have no parking for visitors. Is it at just, all. yeah. Is it just yeah. their two spots and that's it? Yeah. Well, I think they just have one. They just well, have one. Because they have the one car, right? Yeah. Dude. They have the one spot. And then uh, I think there is like four, four, some, or four or six visitor spots, but you can reserve them if oh. you want people coming over. So they're always taken. So it's like uh. you can't just, like, if I just wanted to take my imaginary car over there and go yeah. visit, I wouldn't be able to park it anywhere. I would just go like park down in the neighborhood somewhere. Yeah. It, it was actually insane. So uh, Bridget will fucking, she has her own designated parking spot. Yeah. But because when I come over is like nine o'clock at night or something like that, she will park on the street to reserve my, her parking spot for me. So she'll get like a decent That's parking smart. spot. Yeah. And I'm just sitting like, holy shit. These, cause normally, yeah, like I'll come over at nine there's no parking. I'll yeah. have to park in a different fucking area. Yeah. And then walk all the way back. Over. Yeah. I did that, but I had to have like a shift one morning and I had to park like at a quarter mile in a different direction. I had to wake up yeah. extra early, go to the quarter mile walk. Like, Fuck Start that. skateboarding. I dude, I want to. I thought about it. Yeah. Getting like a longboard skateboard. Yeah. Because like, I don't, I don't want to well, do you tricks. You probably don't want a huge longboard one. Uh, well, I don't want to do tricks or anything. I just no, no, no. Uh, you just want something about this big. Yeah. Like a nice cruising board with a nice thick, um, thick wheels? side. Oh, no, no, no. Well, yeah, the wheels so you don't eat shit on uh, uh, big little rocks. Wheel bite, <laughs> dude. I've I've had a concussion from wheel bite. Yeah, uh, you, you were there us, for that, right? No, you told us about that in the car. I think you told me and Sam one time, and we we're just like, "Wait, this happened?" Uh well, to my credit, I was going down a big hill, and, and was you had a, a concussion. <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't even a wheel bite. I got I hit a divot in in the ground, and it made my board kind of pop up, and I just lost control. So I got the speed wobbles, and then I tried to like get down low, and I'm like, I have to ride this out. I'm going to have to take the hit. Yeesh. And as I went to take the hit, I put my hands out, which you're not supposed to. You're supposed yeah. to roll into it. Uh, but they got swept under me, so that happened. Uh, hey, and then gravity my, helped. My, the left side of my face hit it. You should have just fell asleep really quick, so your body went numb, and then you would have been fine. Maybe not my head, but... And then, like, fucking quap mechanics start going around, so you guys, just flailing around. Yeah. Do you remember that movie, Robert Downey Jr. and... Uh, who's the guy from Hangover? The funny Zach Galifianakis? Oh, yeah. The fucking oh, Dude Date. Date. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I've oh, tried to watch that movie I was twice. so I frustrated. So there's a part in that movie, which is what I always remember, is he was sleeping in the car and they get in a car accident. Mm -hmm. And, like, Robert Downey Jr. comes out, he's all fucked up. And, and Zach Galifianakis is like... Oh, I was sleeping. And they're like, oh, yeah, it's like because your body didn't tense up, you were fine. Yeah. yeah. No idea if that actually works, but I always think like. I've heard it does to a certain extent. Because the, the where you break your bones is when you tense up and like, the, you know, it yeah, hits the thing. Yeah, because your muscles are completely yeah, contracted and then it'll and everything. break it. So I always think, you know, like if I'm in an elevator situation, it starts like falling or get things yeah. like I just need to go limp really, really quick and just like somehow turn off every pain sensor. <laughs> like you just hear Sam go <laughs> any sort of reflex to brace myself as possible and just like. Just like go like fucking ragdoll physics and just could not. The I could not because you're falling too, so you're yeah. like holding your stomach. In. You would have to have some incredible mental strength, like yeah. incredible, just to be able to turn that off. Well, you could be like people who freak out on rides and not and pass the fuck out. Yeah, that's yeah. What, that's what you need. You would need to have that ability. You're like ah. I wonder if that is the the reason we do that. Like Maybe. some people pass out because yeah. like you're gonna die. It's so. like a defense mechanism, so your body's like, oh, I'm gonna prepare for the worst. But it's it, possible. It's the same logic because that's how uh, drunk drivers survive most car crashes. Like, uh, unless it's like a murderous like you're yeah. like you have to die from this like if it was a mild accident and like it's potential yeah. to get killed what yeah. is the what is the logic behind because you know in most let's just say a regular car crash mm. like let's say a really bad one Ooh, most of the time the driver is the one that survives yeah, yeah usually they protect themselves they, yeah. that why they usually so, end up turning the car to what would be them not instinctively protecting the other person but themselves and so they'll turn the car yeah boom hits the passenger instead yeah. or okay. even if you turn it to hit you your car's built on protecting you yeah it's like a really dark turn it did hey let's talk well hold on hold on okay i was telling my uh, the guy that i work with about this do you guys remember the movie no robert pattinson movie okay he was Twilight? yeah of course <laughs> he was dating somebody in new york and it was like a classic like uh 
kind of like young adult where they're like they're this young couple they're trying to make it together they're trying to live it sounds very they, familiar they go through like ups and downs like they both don't have a job at one point they can't afford the apartment hello they fight a lot they don't have a job but then they get a job then they lose the job whatever whatever yeah and it's like they're having a horrible time they can't keep up with the rent but they're like they clearly they love each other and it's this whole long movie of this whole ups and downs classic movie yet but that shit's been done a million times but uh Finally, Robert Pattinson lands a really big job. It's like our luck's finally changing. It's going to be so good for us. They're like happy. It's like, I'm so glad we made it through all that stuff. He goes to his interview. It's in like a fucking, uh, like one of those classic New York skyscraper things. And he's up there. He's in the waiting room waiting for his office. It's like, oh, Mr. Whatever his character's name is, Mr. Pattinson, we can see you now. Zooms out of this building. Uh, Twin Towers. Twin Towers. Oh, no. I was joking. Oh, no. Yeah. And that's the end of the movie. Oh. Yep. Did they... Why did, was this, it, why did this go so my dark? My mom was watching this movie, and I came out like halfway through, and this was many, many years ago, a long time ago. And I just came out, and I was watching, and I just caught... So I don't even know how the movie begins, but I caught like the ups and the downs, and I was watching it. And it got to the end, and I was like, what the fuck? It's like, so, that's it? Was it like you knew it was the Twin Towers or how did you like... You you don't know. The they, whole setup and like even the day of, like he wakes up and was like, oh, it's like, good morning. It's September 11th, 2001 or whatever. And oh, you, and you no! You were like, shit. And it's like, no, you don't even put it together. It's like, oh, okay, whatever. And then he's like, goes have his interview and then it zooms out to the Twin Towers and it's like, ooh. Okay, who ooh. made that? That's a fucked up movie. Yeah. <laughs> M. Night Shyamala. <laughs> I don't know who made that movie, but it's like, it's a total chick flick, 100%. Mm. Why do they like getting their hearts crushed so much like that? I don't know, dude. Wow. Oh. Like, there's the other one, uh, one day that we always talk about that yeah. me, Danny, and Matthew saw, where it's just like you basically follow these two people, a guy and a girl, who they clearly have a thing for each other, but then they just never like match up. It's basically like if you had the Jim and Pam situation, but they mm. never ever got together until they were very old, and then oh. finally they're like, oh, it's like okay, and then they're like they're having a good life, mm. and this is after you've watched three quarters of the movie of them like. One person's single now. The other person is living with their husband. So Forrest Gump without Forrest Gump? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. So then they finally, they're like, okay, like, well, let's give this a try. They're living together happy. They start fighting a little bit, but it's like they're still a loving couple. They still love each other. The wife, I think, goes to leave after they were fighting. I might be misremembering this. She gets hit by a car. This... Okay. I know what it is. Never mind. I was trying to find the Robert Pattinson movie, but I can't. You, you hit me with that. You I'm probably like, can't find it. It just I always search for Robert Pattinson a nine eleven movie. Yeah, because it's definitely there, and I think the other actress is like a big name actress as well. So I would say because I luckily I don't think I've dated anyone with this kind of mentality, but like more of like the internet girlfriend, the psycho girlfriend mentality. Yeah. What if I walk out this door right now and I get hit by a fucking car? Oh, what are you gonna say me. to me? Remember me. That is totally. Yeah. Who's the other actor? Who's the actress in it? Uh, That's see. totally the movie. Because yeah, it was a 2010. Um, there's a lot of ladies in here. Who's the main the main girl? Should be the first one. It should be this one, right? Emil Emily Oron. Oh, is it not anybody Jared actually Raven? we know? Maybe it's not someone we I actually know. Let me go through IMDb. <laughs> okay, but yeah, that's I uh, like. That's depressing. And then this is not a depressing movie, but I've always wanted to see it. And I don't even know if it ever came out. But do you remember uh, peak Charlie Sheen was going through all the Tiger Blood stuff? Oh. Um, and he was like a big meme. Everything was talking about him. Him and uh, a couple of other. There's one really other big name actor that was in there. And I say big name as in like you would recognize who he was. Mm. But the whole premise of the movie was them stuck inside of an elevator during 9-11. Inside the Twin Towers. No. What? And the whole movie was just them in an elevator and them trying to come to terms with how are we going to get out of here? What's going to happen? Oh, we don't know what's happening. Mm-hmm. And like as the fucking plane hits the tower and they're like trying to figure out what they're going to do. So um, 9-11 movie, Charlie Sheen yeah. in the elevator. We should get together and watch it sometime. Uh, like and see. Because I, 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 I seriously think it's just one of those movies where they just like found a set that looks like an elevator. And they're, they're like, like yeah, we're just going to film a whole movie in here. Like this is going to be the principal oh, of our it's movie. All- I think it's wow. literally all in the elevator. I don't think they ever leave the elevator. I oh. only ever saw a trailer for it and people were outraged. They were pissed. Why? Because it's like, it's like it's a cheap fucking like cashing in on 9-11 movie. Like it's not even like that deep. It's like, oh, wow, these guys are stuck in an elevator 9-11. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I don't even know if it actually came out or if like people got so outraged and like, oh, forget it. Mm. But I would love to see it. Would love to. That's 
That'd be fucking wild. I, because I remember, I feel like you were about to start describing that one film where The Rock was in this like super tall skyscraper building. Oh, oh I know exactly skyscraper. what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, it's a called skyscraper. Yeah, it is called skyscraper. Yeah, and there's, I remember like the memes of him like jumping off of a, uh, like one of the exploding and the things. floors. He's jumping to grab a helicopter. Or something. Yeah, and they're like, there's no way his trajectory would have worked. <laughs> and this is like they were drawing like lines where he yeah. would drop, and I was like, oh, this cracked me up. But this reminds me of the Fast and Furious when they're in Dubai. Oh, that was fucking wild. And they had to like launch the car from one good. side to another I, one. I like Fast and Furious. It's it's you, over the top, but I like it kind of thing. Yeah, you can't go in there having like expectations of reality coming in. What's into the one where Ray. am I thinking of the right movie? Are they having John Cena in the next one? Did they announce that? Oh yeah, they are. Apparently yeah. he's uh Dominic's long lost brother. Oh that yeah. they've never brought up ever. Yeah. And I'm just like That is totally right. What the fuck? And he's white? They always got to, because, like, the underlying theme of they're that just is... going to draw, like, a pencil stash on uh, it Yeah, they're going to draw like a little that. mustache and black eyebrows. They always bring up other people's family. And it's like, I get the whole underlying theme of all the movies is family. Yeah. But every movie is like, oh, this guy's family member is here. Oh, this other guy's family member is here. It's like... We went to The Rock's family yeah. family. It's like, oh, you yeah. killed this guy. Now his family's pissed. It's like, uh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It's the greatest telenovela for fucking yeah yeah, yeah. for bros yeah for bros it really Joe is. bro when Paul Walker died I was so fucking devastated I man. didn't believe that people actually had the do it for Paul Walker tags on their cars oh yeah they the do people I legit drove behind what one what does it one mean day. do it for Paul Walker what does it means mean? continue the franchise and like, oh like be that like, or just be like a a race car guy yeah like if you're a race car driver uh, people loved him because he was an actual enthusiast of like okay. Porsche and speed yeah. and stuff like that sure yeah I was behind a uh, uh, like 90s fucking WRX that was just yeah. beaten to shit with a bunch of fucking stickers go do it for Paul Walker like I've seen a Porsche with one that said I do it for Paul Walker is that the car he died in yeah, yeah. <laughs> ironic right but do I hope Walker. to god <laughs> I hope to god they actually truly meant it for the real hashtag but yeah. if they went for the bants and were like do it for Paul Walker do it 90 miles an hour yeah. into a pole oh my Sam. god I, we've talked about you would drive a Porsche, right? If you could. I mean, yeah, if I could, but it's like I ain't looking to die. Is <coughs> oh, I just got. Do you have a thing directions. at all for speed? Uh, no, the drug, no. No, 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 you're not. Card game, so, yeah, I like the card game. It was a good game. Um, <laughs> so are you saying speed. Porsche specifically? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, because last time my we were, heart. <laughs> <laughs> last time we were talking about uh how I went to the Porsche track. Yeah. And uh, Sam's like, oh, I would totally drive a Porsche. Yeah, I just meant like, would you be like comfortable going like super fast down? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I would. I don't have like, I think you have good reaction time, like especially with the video games. So well, I think yeah, and it's like fine. I don't, I'm not like I don't drive, okay. Yeah. But it's like I wouldn't be one of those people who's like I get on the freeway, was like, oh, you want to see me hit 100? It's like that yeah. would never cross my mind. It's like, yeah. no, nah, I'm just gonna fucking get to where I need to go. Yeah, but it's like I would be fine doing it, you know, and hypothetically, but yeah. uh, it's like I don't have a need for speed. <laughs> We can cut it. Can <laughs> um, cut okay, do you want to talk about stuff that we put out this week? We're about the halfway point. Uh, I don't even know um, what we put out. So we obviously did Bleach Boys came mm-hmm. out right after the last podcast. That was really good. It was all canon episodes. Yeah. They are officially storming Hueco Mundo. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to keep up with that and kind of get a recap of all of the Bleach episodes before the new series start, check out our podcast, Bleach Boys. We're on all the stuff, and we're on YouTube, so check that out. Then we did um, our Jump to Zuka, which we did three more viewer submissions. We did Outer Bound. Andrew Graffiti X and Tatakai. Damn. Straight up, yeah. Straight up thought Outer Bound was going to be baseball. Outer Bound was fantastic. It so was. check that out. That was really good. And then the art for Angel Graffiti EX was fucking insane as well. So check that out. Then we uh, have two unboxings that have went up. We did uh, All last season night. <laughs> two. Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon premium box set? Is what it's called, not limited edition. That doesn't even matter though, because yeah. there, there's a well, little bit in there. Behind the scenes of that, check our Instagram. Oh, yeah, but God. you Poor can Josh. see it in the beginning of the. Uh, you can actually see it in the middle of the video. I because I time lapse it. So there are times when uh, they sent in. I think it's called a shadow box, or I've also seen it called like a puzzle box or something. Okay. I don't know what the actual name for it is, but basically it's just like a cool like art thing but it's multiple different layers of a picture so it makes it look a little 3d yeah, like with when you spacers look at it. to give yeah. give up so it's all cardboard the whole thing across the board and you have to put it together yourself but then the, like the cardboard is really cheap and you got to tear the stuff off of it Ooh. it does not come pre-assembled did you so, guys use a uh, exacto no. knife sometimes on it? yeah sometimes sam read the instructions i had one handy full tilted and yeah. then oh i ripped it and then the exacto knife came out after <laughs> <laughs> so but 
if you watch the video, we start off, I think I do a times 200, then I do a times 1,000 speed, and then on the last one, because what you can't tell from that video is it was 30 minutes long, the original Ooh, recording for that video. Yep. The actual video that went up, I think, was 10, 11 minutes. Yeah. So the last chunk was times 5,000 speed, and it was still probably about 45 seconds of a time lapse left on there. And, oh, boy, you missed the parts where we pause. It's like Josh go turn on the air because we have the air off when we're recording up there. It's like I'm getting heated. I like, literally sat there because like I'm behind the camera. I'm yeah. trying to like be quiet. And Sam's like, yeah, I think I'm going to time lapse that. I'm like, I'm going to wait till he actively starts talking to me to start talking again. And you're just like, Whew, it's just going to be a lot of my fucking forehead <laughs> yeah. on here. Because like the whole thing is me looking. You're tilted down. down. I'm like trying to figure out how this thing is. And then at one point I want to put on my lap so I can like use my like thigh as a, like a nice little, like thing to push down on. Then it's like, oh, now the camera can't see it if I'm time lapsing that. So it's like they'll just be looking at literally the top of my head. Pebbles is ripping her fucking body apart. Yeah. And I'm just sitting there like, oh, dude, I, like I felt it. I was sitting like, I know he doesn't like this shit. I was going to offer to do it. And he's like, I can't have you do it. Then you're going to be behind the camera making noise. Yeah. 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 Cause Josh was like, it's like, oh, it's like, I'll just do it while you record the other stuff that's still in the box. Cause they put that in like the halfway mark of the box. And then I was like, no, nah. I was like, you can't. Because, like, it'll pick up you, like, pushing the cardboard and stuff, and then the audio will get all fucked. But the funny part to me is you didn't finish unboxing the box. You literally stopped what you're doing to work on that. And we're like, I don't know, probably 15 minutes of the 20 that you spent just on that. And I was like, wait, Sam, is there more? Yeah. Oh, no. And that, let me tell you, that stuff did not, did not get a great review. No. It was just, well, we got this, and we got this. <laughs> Dude, it killed me. Dude, I felt so bad. Brutal, because like I, it, they, what happens is when you start putting it in, is you'll get they, so the instructions. Josh came up with a better way to do it, but the instructions said to do the four corners first, which would have made sense. But they don't hold anything together. Yeah. Like if it made everything rigid and like actually yeah. have structure, that would have because been the way it's to a go. still flimsy piece of cardboard. It still bends, so, so it starts fucking up all your stuff. Uh, all your papers have these slits, and all mm. the um, it's like a fucking little spacer. They all have slits in specific spots, and you have to match them. And sometimes it would go like right here mm -hmm. and line up, and it wouldn't go in, and it would do this with all the other ones. So there'd just be like one part of it that's like pushed out, flipped like yeah. it was. And then you go to fix it, and it pushes out a different spacer, like yep. a different thing that locks in. So now you're, you're like, okay, yeah, I think I got that. Then you look over, oh, the corners out. It's like yep. motherfucker. So it's like I just end up getting in. Uh, Four corners and then two of one of the sides. Yeah. It's like, there you go. You can see what it is. It's like a hodgepodge. It's like, like, yeah, yeah. You, like me. <laughs> you get the idea. You just squint a little bit. It looks really good because yeah. that shit. And then it's like after the fact, Josh sat down and worked on it. And it was like, he got it. He got it but going good. I did not like it. I was sitting it's there not like. fun. Sam, this isn't cool. Yeah, this is not cool. <laughs> Josh is like, I can see why you don't like this. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Dude, I and I was like, I was honestly surprised at how far you got doing it. I was like, okay. This is pissing me off. It's I was miserable. I was telling Bridget last night. I was like, I like these things. I wanted Sam to send me in. I hated doing it. <laughs> it's not fun. Aww. And it's like, it's sad because it looks awesome. It does. It looks really cool. And it's like, I would love to have more of them, but I'm never putting them together. It's yeah. never happening. And the, we should have known because Sam opened it and he's like, oh, oh, I hate construction projects. <laughs> yeah, the first time yeah. I was like, I'm looking at, oh, oh, start uh, <laughs> and the way you I don't know if it's because you wanted the camera to pick it up but you were like shouting the instructions you have to cut here <laughs> oh god <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it was bad yeah it was not fun and then it was like I was mega tilted off of that I was like that yeah. was not a good time so then it's like we were also trying to experiment with the 4k camera yeah so we were recording you can notice it a little bit on the is wrong pickup because we end up using the phone footage, mm -hmm. but it looks like I'm looking a little bit to the right of the camera. That's yeah. because that's the 4k camera that we were trying to record with. Um, we were trying to do that and that just wasn't, we can't get that yeah. really fucking work well because the colors, I think with the colors. Yeah. I think it's like a neutral palette and yeah. then you adjust the colors as you want, but which is beyond any of us. So yeah. it's like, whatever. So but even that was the, I was like, well, at least if we have 4k, you could yeah. zoom in and, and yeah. premiere. And it didn't look any better. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? So, yeah, who, who the fuck knows? We'll keep trying on that. We yeah. figured to try and figure that out. But then we had to do, uh, we got a loot anime box in the same day, Oof. which was a sep the September box. So I don't even so think they're, they're catching up. I don't even think they're behind at this point because I think uh, no, that that it always be right. goes, the month yeah. always goes out the next month. So I think they're Thank all you. caught up. And it was uh, Fan Frenzy 
which is basically most of the box except for one item was all like idol stuff where it's yeah. like whether it be uh, guy idols or girl idols. Haven't seen any of that. No. Don't know what any of that is. Some of the cheapest shit I've ever seen in any of those boxes. Oof. I would fully agree. There is was like loot talk. We or? should take a we should take a video no, of it yeah. for Instagram oh, because anime. after the fact that we did it, uh, we Josh was showing me the the t shirt. He's like, "Did you notice this t shirt, dude?" And normally their t shirts are quality. Yeah. Loot anime does good t shirts. I think their their t shirts are better than Loot Taku, honestly. Yeah, Loot Taku normally cheaps out on the t shirts, but Loot anime is like, and he's like, "Look at this, look at this," and it's basically like this. But this is a actually fucking That's awesome a high quality t. Um, it was a box yeah, that had a high quality yep. like filigree where it said the name of the anime and then the shittiest JPEG of an image. Like I literally Oof. ripped it off of a screen cap yeah. off my phone. Like I took a picture of it on my phone off yeah, the computer. Yeah, they took like a smaller picture and then just resized it to fit it. And you could tell it looked blurry. And it didn't help because the filigree was so high def yep. that when you like looked at that, it was just like pixels for faces. It looked really bad. I was like, wow. And Josh pointed out, I was like, the unboxing is all of two minutes long or something yeah. like that. Like it's not a long unboxing. So it's like, I just, I was like, Oh sure. I don't know what it is. Threw it aside. I was like, man, had I known, I would have shit on that. Cause I had no fucking idea. It was, it was so bad. It was miserable because it wasn't just that Sam opened one thing. It fell apart immediately. Yeah. He Ooh. got a pin. And then the dumbest thing I've ever seen, which was actually the most useful item in the fucking box was a fucking protein shaker, but it had fucking like a harem of, Teen pop idols. Yeah. yeah. And it was in like this ugly ass yellow. I'm like, huge brownie points to the guy yeah. that walks into the fucking gym repping that shit. Just <laughs> Seriously. like, what's up? This is my waifus. <laughs> like, it's fuck, crazy. dude. It's like, that was the best item in the box. It too. was. And it was like the, the, the phone thing after that too when Josh was in there. I was like, oh, it's like, let me, let me see. He's like, I probably yeah. fix it. Josh tried to put it on his phone. It just started popping apart. It was yeah. Just like, yeah. What? Just like, I put it so it's, it's like, like a phone case. It was a it's supposed to be um, half phone case, half what are those pop socket. Called? Pop socket. Oh, so okay. it was like yeah. a loop. It was a ring instead of a pop socket, but it did like the. It's like a webbing that goes around the corners yeah. of your phone. And I was like, oh, I figured it out. I think it just needs to snap in like this. I was like, cool, I got it, Sam, I've got it. And it fell out. I was like, okay, this is bad. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. And it's like you know, I feel for him a little bit because yeah. they obviously they filed bankruptcy and then it's like COVID. It's yeah, they were hurt. Everything not was hurting, really yeah. the best. But man, that was a bad box. That was not good. Yeah, I, I'm almost. What do you do at that point? Do you cut your loss and say, "Hey, we'll refund this month's box," and say, "You know, we'll get you next month"? No, they can't. You just, you, yeah, you can't. They you gotta literally, bite the bullet. They on have that to one. literally send out a shitty box and just hope people are okay with eating it. That's literally what they have to do because they can't afford that. They can't. They cannot afford to refund. However, like, however, however many boxes. But you're yeah. also purchasing all that stuff. I know that's yeah. probably not as expensive, but yeah. like. I try and think of like saving face is also a, a commodity. In yeah, price. but I feel like at this point they've already they're already uh, in the shitter. Yeah, like people already don't think highly of them. So I that could have been just as good of a video where you dumped it in the trash can. <laughs> yeah, I I, yeah. I saw that. I was like, oh man, this is this is bad. Yeah, it could have been really good. It didn't. I don't think it helped their chances in the slightest that that was after you built the shadow box. <laughs> yeah, because there was no. I was already mega tilt. <laughs> I I was just sitting behind the camera and I swear to God, Sam picked up the fucking pop socket. Oh, what is? And it just fell. And it was the classic like. And he just like looked at me and I was like, I can't, I can't do. That. <laughs> It's cheap fucking thing, man. It's like, I, I just don't understand. So that's all that we have up as of now. Uh, stuff we have upcoming. Jose did a drawing, which yeah. uh, we should be getting a time lapse of that going up. He did Todoroki, which came out really fantastic. Um, we're going to be doing pumping carving later today. Yeah. So that should be coming up at some point, and hopefully before the next podcast. That way we can have the pumpkins on the set for yeah. our Halloween yeah. episode. Our Halloween slash technically one year anniversary <laughs> episode. Yep. But we'll probably just do the anniversary the next week. Season one, episode 52 next week. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be really cool. Um, and then that's all that we have ready in the pipeline. Aside from, of course, still doing more Jump Tezuka stuff. I'm Bleach still, Boys. I'm still working on a We still have fucking uh, Zombie Girl or whatever the fuck. Uh, Undead Darlings. Undead Darlings. Undead Darlings supposed to be coming out. It's a banger of a game. So when we release it three months later, you know, it'll uh, still, You'll still be good. Uh, it. It'll, it'll still be still good. Be great. <laughs> So we got a lot of stuff coming. Um, I get a lot of figures still, but uh, I've been buying cheaper figures All recently. All my figures aren't coming so. until next year. So Hella delays. Oh, Hella. I forgot to tell you. They refunded my Dark Magician. Oh, Rick. I was so fucking You might pissed. still be able to get it. Remind me after the podcast. You might okay. still be able to get it off and not Kotobukiya. 
Okay. So I could probably find it. Because I went That's right. I went through Kotobuki. Uh, so yeah. Dark Magician Girl, I went through uh, Crunchyroll just yeah. because I was like, oh, I don't want to drop. I would check them for Dark Magician. That okay, would be okay. one of the first places I would check. Because I just didn't want to drop like the, the $180 on both yeah. of them. And I was like, okay, I'll buy Dark Magician right now. So I, I placed the order for Dark Magician. I'm like, oh, Crunchyroll, I could do the the little like yeah. four-week payment thing. Yeah, yeah. So I did that. Sizzle or whatever. Sizzle, yeah. I did that. And Dark Magician went fi- girl went fine. And then I, I got the email the next day. He's like, sorry, we've refunded your Dark Magician. That that sucks. And that I was just really like, sucks. fuck. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's not much you could do. You guys didn't watch anything? Any anime? Any? Uh... Burn the Witch. I am still only one episode into that, but I've read all of the manga and I already see. So how did you watch it? Did you like watch one episode, then come back for another? Or did you watch all three marathon? Uh, I marathoned it. Like, cause... So it very clearly watching the first episode very clearly you can tell it's supposed to be a movie yeah like oh. yeah it's, it's definitely one of those things where you have yeah. to sit down and watch all of them because you can tell like i stopped the first episode and they stopped the first episode at a weird spot yeah, like they're, they're in the middle of fighting something and they, they were fighting a it. dragon yeah and it's like oh that's weird <laughs> like that's a, that's a weird spot to stop so that two-parter yeah, yeah. yeah it's, and it's clearly it's supposed to be all three parts were supposed to be a movie but it's like ah, it's like COVID, whatever. So we're just gonna release it as a series. I mean, it it wasn't bad, like, but because I binge watched it, yeah. I thought it was totally fine. Some of the animation in it is really good. Oh like, my uh, god! Like there's a couple of times we're like running through an alleyway or like flying through yeah. an alleyway, and it's like, wow, that looks that was a really good shot. But it's like I've read the manga, so I know what happens, and then I already know that they basically use the one shot at the end. So that's cool. Yeah. Um, it seems like people are generally. I was kind of looking at what people thought of Burn the Witch. And it seems like people are doing like, yeah, it's a cool concept. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, I think people are, will be more open to watching it, especially because it has Tite Kubo's name behind it. The so, animation on it is great. It feels like you're yeah. watching Bleach, but just at a higher quality. And I feel like love or hate the Thousand Year Blood War arc, I feel like, I obviously don't know, but I'm going to generalize here. I would say 75% of the people, the first half of the uh, Thousand Year Blood War arc, people loved. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I would say the first yeah. half was fantastic. I it's think it's just, just the way the it ended. Yeah. I think it's just the ending. 75% of the people have a problem with. Yeah. Because. Do you have was, a problem with it? I do have a problem I, okay, with same. it. Okay. Yeah, I'm I, in the same boat. It's obviously been a long time since I've read it. And I'm going off of Sam reading it week to week and having it end like that. I was pissed. Yeah. Same. Yeah. I was so mad. I felt so shafted. That's a white. Yeah. Yep. I, I felt shafted at that too. It's so, a deeply philosophical ending. It's just like But Sopranos. I saw. So I did see people on Reddit talking about like there was like a bleach post that was really high up. And they were talking there. And then. And, a lot of people were going like, I just hope they change, they mess with the ending. Yeah, like, and I fix was like, it up or expand it. I hope it. to God that is unanimous across the board. Because, like, obviously, we don't know what the Japanese fans think of it. Like, yeah, they could have liked it. Because they're obviously the market. Yeah. They are the market. Yeah. So, I don't know if they feel the same way as us. Because I feel like, uh, generally, when I see people talk about it, they're like, yeah, the ending was a mess. Like, yeah. that was not good. It was rushed. I don't up. know if the Japanese feel that way. And that's going to be the deciding factor. If they I, feel that way... I could easily see them. I feel like they were women. upset about it though, because I know that I hope so. th- there was a lot of talks about how it felt rushed. Well, from my None understanding, it is uh, Shueisha, which is the people that own Shonen Jump, mm-hmm. they basically gave an end date. They're like, yeah, and it, and it was like, here you go. So then that's what happened. Yeah. How could you do that? Was Bleach? Well, it wasn't dying? doing Bleach very well. Was, uh, Bleach was hurting after at that the point. first half. Yeah, it wasn't very good. So mm-hmm. it's like people just stopped caring. And it's like you know, the, the, they have like popularity charts you can see all the time for like what people are reading. And yeah, it's not doing well, but it's like now, you know, there's a huge resurgence of Bleach. Uh, Shonen Jump has had quite a few big series end like simultaneously, like Demon Slayer's done, Haikyuu's done. Uh, I think Gintama's officially yeah, done. Yeah, Gintama's officially wrapping uh, up. Gintama? Wow. Yeah, yeah. So they they have uh, massive holes that they're looking to fill really hardcore. I feel like so, Borto's not doing as well right now either. Uh, no, people don't really like Borto. Yeah, Borto's really not really But well. they do. That, so I think the anime they don't really like, but I think in general the manga people are, are good with they're okay with it i think they're good okay. with it. it's pretty uh, far dragon ahead, ball right? super the more that it goes by that it's been out i see a lot of people not really liking dragon ball super really it's not doing which is great. weird because i feel like as it was airing people were loved it they're yeah. like yeah, yeah dragon ball super fucking awesome but now that i think it's had time to cool down they're like yeah dragon ball super was not that good hmm. yeah that's other people saying that i am just a fucking nothing deep for me i liked it <laughs> so, yeah no it seemed yeah. really good i mean uh, what's yeah. uh hero mishima's other one's gonna be uh anime right yeah, 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 which is going to be our Mangaku. Yeah. We're, we're doing that for our Mangaku, Eden Zero. So that's getting an animation. Um, I'm interested to see if they'll be doing an anime for a uh, hundred year quest for Fairy Tale. I kind of hope they just turn it into a movie. That's like twelve uh, volumes deep already. Yeah. So book, it, I have not been keeping up with it. You guys did say something about potentially it, Blue Lock getting pulled into. Yes. Yeah, so, okay, yeah, 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 that's. 
some rumors I saw when I was looking at the Blue Lock Reddit is people were talking about it because like there's a lot of questions. We're like, yo, how come this isn't officially licensed? It's anywhere? great. Like we're not joking when we say it's fantastic. Which is something I would like to know so, as well. And like a couple of the comments are like, oh, well, just look towards Tone and Jump, see what there is. Like, uh, okay, so maybe there's some sort of leak that they know that I don't. Uh, so who knows? But that should be good. I haven't been watching shit, man. I'm so far behind. Matthew really wants me to finish up Sword Art because he just finished... Uh, Alicization 2? Yeah, a War of the Underworld is, I think, is the subtext on that. Mm-hmm. He just finished that, and he he's a little eh on it. He just wants to, like, talk to me about it. Yeah. So I might try and watch that next. I really want to watch this anime called Glapnir. Glapnir? Uh, yeah. I don't really know anything about it except for it's got, like, this big teddy bear thing. Looks cool. So that's I want to watch that, too. I'll finish um, BNA this week. I just oh, got nice. distracted with a bunch of other nice. stuff. Uh, so far, I like it. It's just... It's not anything outstanding, but yeah. it is definitely one of those like, oh, I like it. See, I so it's Trigger, right? Yeah, it's Studio Trigger. Yeah. So that's uh, that's why I decided to watch this because we love Studio yeah, Trigger. Yeah, we're big here. Trigger whores here. <laughs> and uh, it's like that has got me into trouble before because I watched Little Witch Academia, which is the Yeah, that's well. tri- it's Trigger. Oh. Yeah. That was a boring one, baby. Oh, Damn. my Lord. That was boring. And it's like it had some episodes where it, there's not like one big overarching storyline. It's just like, oh, look at this cool witch school. Is this uh. fun? So there's some episodes that are good, and it's like, yeah, okay, that was fun. I, I get that. But then there are other episodes where, like, this is boring. It's like, Shit. I feel like it's made for little girls, which it probably is. And it's like, it's just not doing it for me. That's rough. So it's like, I'm, I'm a little iffy now. Like, I, I don't think at this point in time I'll watch anything Trigger. It's like, I think that that's dumb for me. But it's like, if I see something Trigger, it's going to be like Shonen or yeah. something. It's like, yeah, I fucking, I got their backs, man. Let's fucking go. Yeah. I mean, can't go wrong, Gurren Lagann. Yeah, 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 and it's like the kill, kill. Uh, kill the kill was the, great. The guy that's still holding tight for me is the guy who does your name, Makoto oh. uh, or whatever. Yeah, fucking put out movies whatever you want, dog. I'll go Dude, see it. So, that's great movies. Two for two have been weather- fantastic. Did you, did you see Weathering imagine? Away? What? Did you see Weathering Away? Weathering, weathering, with, weathering you? with you? Yeah, yeah, we all saw it together, weathering. didn't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oof. Oh, you guys saw it. I remember seeing it. Yeah. Later, and I was like, "Fuck this." Yeah, it, was good. it wasn't as good as your name, but I still it was still really good. And they got the same fucking people to come back and do the soundtrack. And I'm yeah. like, hell yeah. And it's all in the same universe, too. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. super cool. Really good. Fucking so good. See, I'm having the issue right now. So I've been doing the catch up to the um, like yeah shorter anime. So I finished Kill a Kill a little bit uh, back, but I finally finished uh, One Punch Man season oh, how, one and two. How'd, how'd you like a uh, Kill a Kill? Kill a Kill hurt me at the end, but it was super good. <laughs> I I was I, it was weird because I remember telling Matthew that I don't really like those animes where it just like goes too grandiose where they're mm. like, I had a hairpin in my hand and I was able to stab the moon with it, ha ha ha, because this was my plan for the last thirty years. And it's like, there's no way you could have like logically guessed yeah. that in any way. Um, so I kind of got like tired of that, but then Kill a Kill just did that like every fucking episode. You're like, I'm cool with it. This is fine. Yeah. You do whatever the fuck you want. But you just gotta lean into it and say fuck it. Yeah, so. and then One Punch Man was good. I'm, I do agree the animation wasn't good in the second season. Yeah, but I, I felt the, the story was more. It was still good, and yeah. it's like that's what it I wasn't think was to the, the part point that where hurt. I was like, oh my god, that, like yeah. it, I couldn't watch. But this. it's like the the first season is like a plus. It animation's was like holy shit. Yeah, that's that's why I felt so bad because as you're saying, the story was good. Because the story is better in the second it's season so than it is much in the better. first season. Yeah. So it's like, it sucks that yeah. the animation took a dip when the story is better. That's, Which I'm hoping season three, same develop, or same art team. And if then, you like the animation for the first season, you should watch Mob Psycho. It's done by the same oh, author. Yeah. Um, I, but I, and I think that animation, the people who did the animation for One Punch Man, I hope this is right. I think it is. They did Mob Psycho because mm. the animation of Mob Psycho is beautiful. Okay. Because this is where I'm at now. I, I finished One Punch Man 2. Yeah. And I'm pissed because it's like in the middle of two different yeah. arcs going on. And that arc is still ongoing in the manga right now. Oh, yeah. so That's what gonna, I was thinking. Because I remember you got all the fucking volumes. Yeah. And I was like, wait, this yeah. one character's yeah. here. I was like, oh, shit. I just got introduced to him. But it's like a long arc. Like it immediately like after where. It does seem like it should be. Like after where that season ends. No spoiler, Reno, You don't have to worry. But it, like it kicks off and keeps going. Yeah, it's like the beginning. It yeah. felt like the first episode of a season. So rather. it's like it's got a long way left to go. Um, and the way it works, I don't know if you're you know this, but uh, the author whose name is One, mm-hmm. yeah. he does a web comic of it. So it's not even like a full blown manga. He does a web comic strip. And it's really shittily drawn, like really. Like, like he does the like. He just does the, like the, little the, scribbles. Like yeah. if I was doing a comic base, like oh da da da, and then he just does like little funny bits or little superhero things, and then he has another. Oh, I feel like we talked about this before. Yeah, he we has have. A, another artist that comes by afterwards, and he's and he worked on like Ice Shield Twenty One yeah. and stuff, and he'll fit, work with that author to fill in the gaps, like write all the side characters more, flesh them out, and then really make it look really good. 
So they're in a weird spot right now where they don't really have a weekly schedule. They're just kind of like, mm. whenever we get it done, here's, here's where you're going to Interesting. Get. That's so interesting. Yeah. But what is happening is I don't know because I don't read the webcomic and I don't want it spoiled, but something in the webcomic uh, happened that was impossible for it to happen in the manga because the guy doing it didn't know at the time. So now the guy who works on the actual manga is having to go back and redraw and redo some of the other chapters to fix a mistake. So now instead of getting like a new chapter every couple of weeks, he's going back and he's like redrawn about like five or six chapters at this point, which is two months down the drain of stuff. So it's like, and people are pissed. People are not happy. That really sucks. But at the same time, like, kudos to them well uh, let me give you a little bit more context because oh. it is in kind of like i know it's not the climax of the battle but they're leading you to believe it's the climax battle of the whole thing and oh. now we keep stopping to do redraws of chapters that we've already read Oof. i would be bad yeah the equivalent Oof. of the bounce arc in uh, the new age <laughs> yeah well imagine if like if the bounce arc started right in the middle of ichigo versus Byakuya. yeah yeah and then it's like you got about five weeks of filler in the middle of that. You'd be like, what the fuck? It's mm-hmm. like, why are we doing that? And then you would get a couple more chapters and like fucking Hichigo would come out and be like, Oh, we're going to go back to filler. Yeah. See, yeah, that's, I can't. yeah, I would be mad. Cause I, I don't do the, we don't do the weekly basis. Yeah. I've tried to like live by Sam's rules. of yeah. I don't watch live. It's not, anime. it's not enjoyable. It's not enjoyable. But it's, yeah, I, I do it all the fucking time. It kills me because there's yeah, this new fucking anime that came out recently where it's the firefighters. Oh, oh yeah, Fire yeah, Force. yeah, yeah. Fire it Force. looks so good. I would say just wait for the season it's currently in to be done because yeah, it's its second, second season second already. Season, yeah. Oh, is it really? So, yeah. yeah. So, it's like it it you looks, have fucking two seasons worth of shit to watch. It looks absolutely yeah. fucking gorgeous. I want to watch it too. See, that's what I'm doing with uh, Food Wars. Like, I'm just waiting for it's it. It's almost done. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's that's what, shit's all, it's, I just want to wait for it. It's good, man. Food Wars is really good. That's a lot of episodes too. So that's yeah, that'd be a good I'll, watch. I'd be happy to binge that. That'll be a really good watch. But see, yeah, that's the issue. I don't want a long thing because I like yeah. those like complete stories in yeah. a couple days. But well, shit, it, like my problem right now with one of those is like Seven Deadly Sins. It's done, and you know the third season was complete shit yeah. a- animation wise. I, I still watched it. You know, I'm really bad at like. Like when an anime stops and then it comes back, I'm not as attached to the characters. So yeah, it's not definitely. The same. So it's like I would much prefer to marathon it. But then I'm in this weird position with like trying to do the stuff for the YouTube channel where I need to try and kind of stay up to you date. You need to be up to yeah. date with stuff. Spoiling it for and yourself. And then it's like I need to be on like I try to be on Twitter and like social media much more because normally I fucking get, couldn't give two shits. Yeah. So, but it's like I'm trying to be on there more so I, like I know what's going on, like cool shit that's coming out or happening. But then because of that, I see a lot of shit that gets spoiled. Yeah. yeah. A lot. So you're just protecting your heart out there. <laughs> it's 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 hard, dude. So it's like I've just kind of had to adapt because normally, like, normally I hate spoilers. Don't want anything to do with it. It's like I want to go in blind, fuck yeah. knowing that shit. But it's like now I just have to accept that's like, okay, yeah, I know that happens. Like, sure, okay. Yeah. But now I I started Blue Exorcist and it's, that's I'm good. like lukewarm at the moment. Is it long? It, um, yeah. So it's weird because we were talking about that when you were saying it the other day. I'm pretty sure Jose and I haven't seen all of it. No, I think which is weird to me. I'm pretty sure out, we only saw the first season. Yeah, it came out, it ended. Like, so have you finished the first season yet? I'm in like four episodes. So it gets an ending like that. It gets a legit ending. Like they like they write an ending into it. They're like, yep, done. Uh, You know, whatever. Big bad guy defeated. We're good. And then they put out another season like, yeah, so scratch the last couple of episodes of that one. Here's where it continues after that because they didn't know they were going to get any more. And it's like that other season didn't come out for years after the fact. Yeah, it was a couple years after. And they just put a cap on the first season. They're like, yeah, we're done. We're good. When did the first season come out? Like 2012? I would have no idea. Something like that? But yeah, because they they end it. And then that other season came out. I was like, I just don't feel like going back, honestly. Wow. Okay. Because I remember everyone saying that was good. I liked it. Yeah, yeah, we all liked Blue Exorcist. But it's like I don't watch as we you kind of mentioned. had the same thing. He yeah. said I hadn't finished it. Yeah. It was like, wow. Because gonna... there's a huge gap. Yeah. Huge yeah. gap. So it's like to do it real justice, like I would need to go back and watch that first, first season. season up to whatever episode that actual fake ending starts and then just switch over. Got you. Are you going to watch Shaman King? Yeah, I totally It's going to be a re- oh, I'm totally uh, going to be I don't know, it's not a continuation Because people love rebooted. Shaman King. I think yeah. Danny loves yeah, Shaman Danny King. Yeah, Danny loves Shaman King. And that's the fairy tale guy's uh, like big ma- uh, that's anime before breakthrough. fairy yeah. tale. But I just I don't really like old shit. So oh. it's like they're redoing it like oh. like, like from it, the ground it's like up. Digimon. Like Digimon's being redone. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, I'm totally watching Shaman King. And I I'm, I'm going to let that shit run all the yeah. way through and then cuz I think it's long. Yeah, it's very so long. I'm just going to let that shit run and then I'll watch it Cuz the they're doing a FMA thing. Because that'll be awesome. Yeah. I'm on board for that. Uh, that's cool. 
Yeah, I, see, my issue. Well, I, I'm maybe with Blue Exorcist, I'll I'll stop at the first season, see how it is, and see if I want to continue. Mm. But because I do, I want to watch. I FMA. bet you like it. I'll bet you like it. Yeah, uh, you're gonna watch it, the original it, FMA. Uh, Brotherhood. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, because yeah. I never watched that, and I, I never sat down and the, watched uh, FMA. My from only start to thing finish. with FMA, like the original, is the only reason you would want to watch it is if you want to have the attachment to the characters. Well, but, yeah, they say the beginning is better in the yeah. FMA because they but spend I, I more time in it. That I've all yeah, watched. They just did. They completely but, explained it. Really everybody, well. I saw people talking about it just the other day, and they were like, "Man." Still to this day, Full Malika's brother has one of the best endings. Like what people were saying. Is oh like, yeah. yeah, I think it's, it's like one it of really the... does. Like the ending and the way they set it all up is fucking fantastic. Yeah, I, I remember watching like because I would get like Adult Swim bits and pieces. So yeah. just depending on how late I yeah. stayed up on a weekend. But like even FMA, just not Brotherhood, but like as a like a scattered whole. Yeah, was still super fucking good. Yeah. And it's like okay, if Brotherhood's anywhere near. Yeah, were they when they were installing the uh, the new router upstairs? We had the guy like running the uh, gigabit cord to go mm-hmm. all the way upstairs. Matthew and I were just in the living room kicking. We put on the last couple episodes of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Oh, and it was like, Whoa. dude. Oh, it's still so it, good. Is man. it any spoiled for you at all? Um, I like know you, you bits know like the basic bits of it. Yeah, okay, but yeah. I, I'd rather you not. Right, I'll, I'll walk on eggshells. Like yeah, just yeah. just watch. There it. is memes people do of that ending where like the like Photoshop faces and stuff in. Yeah. So I would oh. not look into any of that. But that's nobody does that anymore. So you should be fine. Okay, well let's call it. That's been a talk podcast number fifty one. Uh, look forward to our Halloween episode. Uh, hopefully next week, unless one of us dies. Ooh, Ooh <laughs> I don't have foreshadowing. <laughs> No more electrical work for me, right? (laughs) Uh, Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you're listening to this on any of the other platforms, uh, we love you. Leave us a good review, five stars. Mm -hmm. And we will see you guys next Wednesday for another podcast. Until then, uh, have a good one. Bye.